Hi, my name is James Gurney. If you watch my YouTube channel, you know I like making old school analog title graphics out of cardboard and wood and wire. I have those for the titles and then these for the end screens. But ever since YouTube redesigned their end screen layouts, I wanted to come up with a new design that had some kind of flip up panels for the videos and the playlists. So I want to show you how to make one of these. All it takes is five mouse traps, some scrap wood, a little wire, and a few screws. So let's build one. Now one of the reasons this gadget is important is that it's the last 20 seconds of the video. And if you can capture the viewer to watch the other video options you have or to subscribe to your channel, you could really improve the channel. Normally, the viewership drops off drastically. As soon as you say your video is done or thanks for watching or anything like that, it makes a quick drop off. So the strategy of building this machine is to try to make it interesting uh, while someone's watching those last few seconds. Here's where the idea came from. I tried that idea where you point to phantom spots and have the buttons appear in those spots. And then I thought it would be fun to have a gadget that actually does that with flaps that flip up and match those panels. So I made a printout of a typical end screen template with a playlist and video and website and subscribe in the upper right. And then I got some clear pine boards that are one by three inches. These are sometimes called furring strips and really they're a little bit smaller. They're three quarter inch by two and a half in actual measurements. The inside opening matches a 9 by 16. It's 7 and 5 eighths by 13 and a half inches. I wet the ends of the board so that I can use Gorilla Glue, which is activated by water. A little bit of that on one of the surfaces and uh, clamping or nailing the parts together will form a secure bond. Once that's dry, I can sand it. I'm using a vertical belt sander, but you can use regular sandpaper by hand. Now I'm just double checking to make sure that my flaps fit correctly and are measured just right. I'm making them just about the size as they appear in the printout so that they'll pop up into the shot and I can superimpose the digital frame over it. The flaps are made out of plywood that I got at a craft store. This is um, four and a half inches by two and five eighths for the larger rectangles. I'm sanding them and rounding them a bit with uh, 80 then 220 sandpaper. I then prime the wood using an acrylic exterior primer and that'll seal the wood, sand it again, then use a metallic spray enamel. This is a dark bronze, just to give it a darker tone. Now these are Catchmaster um, mouse traps. You can use really any kind, but I wanted to start with this plastic bait tray. I want to make it a little narrower, so I'm clipping off the sides of it. And what this bait tray does is it, this trips the wire to allow the mousetrap to close. To change the shape of it, make it more into a lever that I can use like a switch. I'm using some two-part epoxy called Magic Sculpt. Now I want to use the spring and the little wire catcher to be the support for the flaps. And I want to somehow mount the spring right down onto there and mount the top of the frame. In this case, I actually made a wire frame that was a little bigger. This is using the actual um, little catcher frame from the mousetrap. But it's got to be a real secure bond to the back of the flap. So I make a little support out of plywood and then use some glue in between to box in the wire and really hold it securely. I want to stop the movement when it reaches vertical. It's developing quite a lot of force from the mousetrap. To hold the spring assembly down, I use screw eyes, fairly small ones. They have staples in the actual mousetraps holding them down. 
but the screw rise gives you a more secure bond. Now the spring fits over the horizontal part of that bar. So that goes through the spring, then through the screw eye, and then the bottom part of the frame hooks over the wire. I just followed the design that was actually on the mouse trap itself. And then this part of the spring that goes up has to hook over the wire so that it can power the um, flap into position. Now I have all the parts laid out, including these little flip levers. And the idea here is to have a wire that kind of goes over that frame when it's deployed. Each mousetrap is a little different. Depending on what kind you get, you may make it slightly differently. But I want it to flip down for the square and the circular piece. Okay, so here's the first test. Press this, and then, whoa, that makes me blink. I was using a wire over the top of the, fr of the little frame, but this time I'm, I'm changing the design of the levers so that they just hook over the flap itself. These are operated by finger control. And then that one. But the problem with this is I have to reach my hand way in there to make them work. Now I need one more flap, I realize. This is for the credits so that I can be running uh, credits for the video on this panel. And this can flip down from behind. Now here's a, a little wire attachment that hooks underneath uh, the levers and then goes through another screw eye. And that lets me pull the switch from my where I am behind it. And then I, I realize I gotta paint them black and then use white lettering and make it a little bit more old fashioned looking. So I used uh, one shot sign painters paint. It's a lettering enamel to paint the lettering. And then I put in those diagonal wires, you might be able to see those on there, to stop the flaps from going all the way over. And I wanted to have some way of holding that credit flap back in position and then dropping that down. So here's how it looks when it's all down. So I took some aluminum channel and cut it with a saber saw and then made a little lever. And this little mechanism kind of becomes a, uh, a little support switch under there. I have two of them. And those hold the credit flap straight back until I flip it, and then it comes down. So that's basically ready. Hi, thanks for watching. You might want to check out my website or subscribe to the channel. Here's a good video that's got more of stuff like you just saw. And then here's a playlist if you want to sit back and binge out. Thanks for visiting and share with your friends.